Hey everybody, Lucas Damasu here at Old Haunt Recording Studio, and what I'm going to do today is talk a little bit about something known as ear fatigue. This is something that I'm constantly explaining to musicians, engineers, producers, people who are just kind of learning about pro audio and the realm of recording. In layman's terms, your ears get tired after listening to something constantly. You could be mixing a release or a song or a single or or a soundtrack, something like that, or even recording it. And as you're working on it, you start to lose sight of what everything should sound like. Everything starts to sound the same. Everything you're doing sounds great. Uh, and you're basically not getting a clear picture of what you should be doing as an engineer. This plagues everybody from starters to guys that have been doing it forever. The difference between a pro and a noob in this case would be a pro is aware of your fatigue and they know to step away from something in order to let their ears refresh. Now, when does ear fatigue settle in? I don't know. It's different for everybody. There's no exact answer. I think a lot of people agree that after two hours or so is when you'll probably start to notice it or when you should notice it. Everybody's different. You kind of have to just know your ears and know your setup in order to kind of realize when it's taking effect on you. Now, there's a few things you can do to prevent ear fatigue or to combat it. And all that is, is actually something very simple. It's just change your listening environment. Something that I know works for some people is when you're mixing on your monitors, switch your monitor. If you have a, if you have more than one pair of monitors, that's easy. You just basically go, yep, switch, switch to the next pair of monitors. You're instantly going to hear something differently because every monitor is kind of built differently, right? Uh, another thing you could do is you could switch from monitors to headphones. Another thing that you could do is you could switch your entire listening environment. Take, you know, burn everything onto a disc or, or just take your session over to another studio and start mixing there if you can, which is a little ridiculous, right? Or you could just take a break. What I'll do is at around the two hour mark or whenever I usually notice my ears aren't really listening to things properly, I'll take a break, usually not a very long one. It could be anything from 15 minutes to half an hour. And usually that's enough. And I'll try to either listen to you know, not music, so either people talking or just silence if I can, or I'll specifically listen to music that's the complete opposite of what I'm actually mixing on, on completely different speakers. Like I'll go to my car and I'll go out for a drive or go out for lunch and as I'm listening to stuff, I'll listen to stuff because it's already a completely different environment. All the acoustics are different, the speakers are different, everything's different. The way I'm listening to things is different in that scenario. Another thing I'll do is I'll switch to headphones. Now you could switch to, you know, your big kind of goofy headphones. Your drum, if your drummer has those isolate, uh, sound isolating big headphones, <laughs> use those. If not, you could use little earbuds like the iPod ones. That those will be fine. And the idea is just to refresh the way that you're hearing things, because you're listening to the same thing usually for hours, and you'll lose sight of it. And if you just change the way it's being shot into your ears it might actually help you notice things that you didn't notice because you're hearing them differently. I once read a long time ago that this particular mixing engineer would choose to mix things on his speakers for two hours and he'd actually have a little timer set up and when the timer was up, he'd then switch over to his studio headphones for two hours and then once that was up, then he'd switch over to iPod earbuds for another two hours then he'd go either take a break or he'd go back to the monitors and kind of continue a cycle. Do whatever works for you, but all I'm saying is just please be aware that ear fatigue is a thing. I feel like somebody should make a public service announcement about it. It's not like a medical condition or anything like that. It's, it's just something that comes with the job. I hope this video was informative. This is Lucas at Old Haunt Recording Studio. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay in the loop. This is Lucas signing off.